In this video, I'm gonna answer the question that a lot of Tractor Pro 2 users are asking right now, which is, is it worth it for me to pay that little bit of money to upgrade from Tractor Pro 2 to Tractor Pro 3? To make sure that you get all these videos from Digital DJ Tips, subscribe to the channel below and make sure you click that bell icon so that you make sure you get notified when our next videos go live. All right, so let's jump into it, shall we? This is Tractor Pro 2. This is what you guys are gonna have been used to for many, many years. It hasn't changed, it's dull, it's gray, it looks dated. And this is Tractor Pro 3. Native Instruments launched this new version of the software in October 2018, and it's bundled with their brand new hardware, the Tractor Control S4 Mark III and the S2 Mark III. But if you're not ready to jump into new hardware yet, you do have the option to upgrade to this and it's $49 or 49 euros to do so. So at first glance, you may look and say and think, well, this is basically the same software. Okay, it looks clean, it looks modern, but it's the same software, so why should I pay to upgrade? Well, there are a couple of killer new features in here which I'm gonna talk you through, which may just, may, may just swing it for you to be able to part with that little bit of money. So before we get into just looking at the cosmetic changes, I'm gonna to talk to you about the big new features. First up, mixer effects. So this control here, the filter control, this used to only control a filter. That was the only option that you had. All your other effects were, uh, you could choose them in the effects bank here. I mean, there is no uh, other software that, for me that has effects as powerful as Tractor. You had plenty of options there, but on this particular knob, you only had one. And Tractor have taken a look at what Pioneer have done with their, col with their color effects and replicated the same kind of thing, which is that you can actually select what is being controlled by this filter knob. And you'll see there's a little drop down here and you can select uh, what effect you're gonna hear. So let's just have a listen to some of the ones we've got here. Filter. Classic, and filter is configurable inside the uh, preferences pane for different, different types. Reverb. Dual delay. Very nice, that one. Noise. And a gator. Really nice effects there, and of course, we're all gonna be big fans of noise finally appearing in Tractor software. Uh, we've seen DJs the world over using the noise effect, mainly on the Pioneer gear, and it's not been available as a single knob control effect in Tractor before, and it is now, and that's definitely welcome. But it doesn't end there on the mixer effects. If you actually go into the panel here, you can select what shows up in that little drop down in these slots, and there are more to choose from. There are actually eight in addition to the filter. So let's try some of the others. We've got flanger, barber pole, not really sure what that's all about, dotted delay, and crush. Let's just take a quick listen to these. So if I close the panel down, now we have those new ones available in here. Flanger. Nice. Barber pole sounds like a, another type of filter. Dotted delay, this is really nice. And crush. There you go. So mixer effects, really, really nice new feature of Tractor Pro 3. So what else is new? Uh, Native Instruments have done a licensing deal to get the Elastic 3 algorithm uh, for time stretching. So when you're making really, really big changes in tempo and you want to retain the key, the audio quality now is so much better compared to how it was before. Let me just give you a quick demo. Difficult.
difficult for you to tell the difference without listening to one and then the other, but trust me, it sounds so much better. And there's also uh, other stability improvements in the software in the background, which Native Instruments have promised. I'm not really able to test that yet. I don't have any hardware connected, uh, but that, of course, will also be welcome. The last little new feature is reverse. So it's a slip reverse. <laughs> And you can see that when I'm clicking it, flux mode or slip mode uh, actually flashes to show that to show that it's enabled so that when I let go of the reverse button, it's going to jump back to the place that it was at. So reverse mixer effects and the Elastic 3 time stretching, really awesome, powerful new features of the software. Everything else is pretty much cosmetic and a couple of layout changes. So let me just talk you through those. We've got an improved level meter at the top here for the main output. Moving down, the uh, master tempo controls and the loop recorder controls have been swapped. They were in the uh, opposite positions before. I think this works, works better. And also here you've got a much clearer indication of whether you have snap or quantize uh, engaged. And also your uh, indicator for link, whether you're linked with MIDI or Ableton, is also here much clearer as well. This is new. You can actually toggle on and off the limiter directly on the front panel. You used to have to go into the preferences to do that. A couple of other little improvements as well here. Uh, when you're in single uh, effects mode, you have one little dot next to the one. And when you're in group, you have three little dots. Uh, and also these actually say on and off now rather than just on uh, illuminated or on not illuminated so just a little improvement which always seemed a bit of a weird thing before overall everything just looks sharper and flatter and much more modern it's worth mentioning that it's not actually retina ready um, the it's still not uh, optimized for high definition screens uh, which is a shame but the new design actually kind of uh, means that it gets away with it a bit better I think than the than the old design other little improvements, the filter and uh, mixer effects buttons actually have different colors to them. So it's very clear on the screen whether you've got an effect running there or whether you've got EQ adjusted because these are all blue. Everything used to be blue before. The Q buttons down here are much bigger and much clearer. So if you're DJing using just your laptop and your trackpad, they're much easier to access. Everything just looks really, really nice, much, much cleaner, brand new colorway. Um, and Really, the kind of space just doesn't look as crowded as it did before. And then in the browser, not really much new here. Again, just the new colorway and uh, slight improvements to the icons just to make them look a bit more modern. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that there is now only one version of Tractor Pro. Uh, there's no separate version for Scratch. So that means that if you've got Tractor Pro, then you can basically set up your time code. You can have DBS if you want to use it, no matter what version you've got, which is pretty cool. Okay, so there you go, a quick talk through of Tractor Pro 3 and what is new for you guys who are considering that upgrade from Tractor Pro 2. Of course, as we said, this software comes bundled with the brand new S4 Mark III and S2 Mark III hardware, and check the links below this video for our reviews of that gear. We'll put the links there as soon as we've got those ready for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, all that good stuff below. Make sure you ask questions. If you've got any questions for us, we'll come back to you and we'll see you again soon.